Today, we're taking a closer look at Mathnasium. It's this popular math learning center. They work with kids of all ages, and it seems like everybody's talking about it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to get to the bottom of, you know, is it really worth all the hype? Is it worth the investment? We've got reviews from parents. We've got stuff from experts. Mm -hmm. And we even reach out to Mathnasium themselves to get their take on things. Let's start with the foundation of Mathnasium. What is it that they actually do? Well, at its core, they have this individualized approach. So every student who comes in, they take an assessment first to figure out where their strengths are, where they need a little extra help. And then based on that assessment, they develop a customized learning plan just for that kid. So it's not like a one size fits all kind of curriculum. It's all about targeting specific needs and building skills progressively. And I know they talk a lot about this idea of number sense. Yes. What exactly does that mean, though? It's about building a strong foundation in math. Not just memorizing formulas, but actually understanding how numbers work. It's like if you're playing a board game and you can effortlessly add up the score in your head or quickly figure out the best move to make, that's number sense in action. They do this by using a mix of teaching techniques. Some are visual, some are tactile, some are written. It's all about engaging different learning styles. That's smart, because not everybody learns the same way. From what I've read, they also incorporate small group instruction and some one-on-one -on -one tutoring as well. So you get that kind of collaborative environment, but you still have that personalized attention. They're trying to develop that kind of intuition with numbers. It's a nice balance. So it sounds like they've really put a lot of thought into their approach. They definitely have. And I think that's one of the things that sets them apart. Yeah, and speaking of what sets them apart, they do have those experienced instructors. For anybody who's looking for a really in-depth learning experience. Mm -hmm. And they offer flexible scheduling, too. That's huge. Especially for busy families. Because you've got soccer practice and you've got music lessons. And trying to fit in math tutoring on top of all of that can be a real juggling act. Absolutely. So having that flexibility is a big plus. And I know they also do progress tracking, so they're regularly assessing the kids to see how they're doing. Yeah, that's important for both the kids and the parents. But you want to see that there's actual progress being made. It gives you that tangible evidence that the program is working. And they talk a lot about creating a positive learning environment. Mm -hmm. They want to make math fun and supportive, not stressful. Yeah, because I think for a lot of kids, math can be a real source of anxiety. So if you can create an environment where they feel comfortable and confident, that can make a huge difference. Absolutely. And they claim that 94% of parents wow. reported improvement in their child's math skills after using Mathnasium. That's a pretty compelling statistic. It is. But, you know, obviously we're going to look this with a critical eye. We're not just going to take their word for it. Of course. We need to consider all sides of the story. Yeah, so let's talk about maybe some of the downsides, because I'm sure there are some. Well, the biggest one is probably the cost. Right. It's not exactly the most affordable option out there. It's definitely an investment. So that's something you need to weigh carefully. Does it fit within your family's budget? And is it worth the cost for you? Another thing to think about is curriculum alignment. So while Mathnasium has its own structured curriculum, it might not always perfectly match what your child is learning in school. That's a good point. If your kid is already doing really well in math and they're keeping up with what's being taught in school, maybe Mathnasium is a little bit overkill. It might not be necessary in that case, but if they're struggling or if they need that extra boost to get ahead, then it could be a valuable resource. So it really depends on the individual child's needs. And I think it's also important to consider the potential for over-reliance. What do you mean by that? Well, if a child is constantly getting support from Mathnasium, could that hinder their development of independent study habits? Oh, I see. Could they become too dependent on that outside help? Exactly. That's something to think about. And of course, as with any tutoring service, the quality of the instructors can vary. You're not guaranteed to get the same level of expertise or the same teaching style across no. the board. So it's important to do your research and find a Mathnasium center that you feel good about. Yeah. You want to make sure that you're comfortable with people who are working with your child. Now, there's this really interesting perspective that I came across from scholars and socials. And their take on Mathnasium is that it's more than just about grades. They see it as a potential gateway to lifelong learning. I like that. They argue that Mathnasium can help spark a genuine love for math, even in kids who haven't traditionally enjoyed it. That's an interesting point because a lot of times kids develop this aversion to math. But if you can find a way to make it engaging and fun, 
maybe that can change their whole attitude. It makes you wonder if the individualized attention can really make a difference. So we've explored the Mathnasium method. We've weighed the pros and cons. So what can our listeners take away from all of this? Well, I think the key takeaway here is that Mathnasium offers this really structured and individualized approach that can be incredibly effective mm -hmm. for some children. But it is important to consider the cost the curriculum alignment and that potential for over-reliance. It's a tool. And like any tool, it needs to be used thoughtfully and strategically. So I want to turn it over to you, our yeah. listener. What resonates with you the most about Mathnasium? Is this something you would consider for your child? And as you're thinking about that, here's a final thought-provoking question. How can we cultivate a love for math that extends beyond the classroom? Whether it's through Mathnasium or through other avenues. It's about fostering that innate curiosity that sense of wonder and joy in discovering the beauty and power of mathematics. We can do this by exposing children to math in various ways, from captivating books and documentaries to interactive games and puzzles. The journey of learning is a lifelong adventure, and math is an integral part of that journey. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep that spark of curiosity alive. Until next time, happy learning, everyone. Thank you.